food fans, welcome to another episode of Then We Eat. On today's episode, we'll be making sausage French toast casserole. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my cooking pan with cooking spray so it doesn't stick. I'm going to do that over at the sink so I don't get cooking spray everywhere. Now that we've got our pan prepared, let's get started with our mixture. The first thing we're going to do is we're, we're going to add six breakfast sausage that are pre-cooked. We got ours from the butcher shop in Brockville, a fabulous place to get your sausages from. And I'm using bread made locally from Athens Bakery. I could have made my own bread, but I decided to buy it instead. I just didn't have time to make it. So that all gets cut up and put into the bowl. So let's get started. I went ahead and I pre-cut all this stuff before we started. So let's just give this a slight mix up. You can see everything is about bite-sized pieces. The sausage, the bread, bite-sized pieces. Let's give it a mix. All right, let's put this aside for a minute and we'll work on the uh, milk mixture. And to our milk mixture, we need four eggs that we're gonna crack into the bowl. No shells. To our egg mixture, we're going to add one and a quarter cups of milk, a quarter of a cup of heavy cream, somewhere between a half a cup and a, third of, and a third of a cup of sugar, and one tablespoon of vanilla. Oops, I overdid it a little bit. We'll give that a mix. Our handy dandy little mixer here. Okay, so we're going to add our bread and sausage mixture to our pan, and then we're gonna pour our egg mixture over top. And then it sits in the fridge overnight, and we'll finish baking it later tomorrow. So let's, let's get it all put together and we'll see what it looks like and we'll get started from there. So it should look something like this. That this goes in the fridge overnight and it's going to allow the bread and the sausage to soak up all the egg mixture. So we'll put a cover on that, put it in the fridge. We'll see you tomorrow morning when we go to bake it. And welcome back. Now it's time to make the topping. Our casserole has been in the fridge. It's supposed to go in the fridge overnight. We don't have that much time. It's been soaking for a couple of hours. Now we're gonna make the topping so that we can cook it. So to this, we're gonna take a bowl and we're gonna add 45 milliliters of flour, which works out to two tablespoons plus two teaspoons of flour. To that, we're going to add a quarter of a cup of brown sugar, somewhere between a half and a quarter of a cup of almonds, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a dash of salt, that should be enough, and a quarter of a cup of cold chopped butter. Now we're gonna make this into a crumble so we're gonna add this, and then we're just gonna use our hands and work it all together so we get a nice crumble mixture. I find using your hands is the best way of doing this. You can use a paste a cutter, a pastry cutter, a fork, whatever you feel works for you. I just find the best ingredients are your hands. You'll get a little dirty, but that's the best way of doing it, I find. You just mix it up, so it looks like tiny little pieces of pea-sized butter chunks. Okay, so we're all mixed up. We've got a nice crumble kind of thing. So we're just gonna take it and put it on top of our casserole. Break it into little chunk-sized pieces so not everybody's getting a huge piece of topping. Spread it out so there's some on all of it. And it should look something like that. And when you're done, you bake it in a 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. We'll see you after it's baked. And welcome back. 
Our casserole is cooked in the oven for 45 minutes. It's nice and toasty brown and it's ready to serve. Let's serve it up and see how it tastes. Oh, listen to that crisp. Nice. Let's see how it tastes. Get some of the sausage and some of that gooey, gooey bread. Mm. That is so good. Yep, that's really good. It's nice, the cinnamon flavor, the sweetness. I forgot to mention, you can eat it with maple syrup. I prefer not to have the maple syrup. I don't like the sweetness of it, but it tastes really good with the maple syrup, so you should try it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with all your friends, comment down below. What would you put in your casserole? Or better yet, what would you like to see us make next? Share it with all your friends. And remember, first we cook, then we eat. Mmm. So good.